Hello, this is Jake with Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to trade directly from and within a chart. So your first step in this process is to open up a chart. Once you've done that, you will be activating trade mode. To do this, head up to the top of your chart and click on the button that looks like a mouse. And as you can see, once I press this button, I have now gained access to the ability to trade within a chart. As you can see, trading within a chart within the OEC Trader platform is very similar to trading within a dome. The main difference is the ability to visualize the market and analyze different trends over time. So once I've activated trade mode, I gain access to all these new features within the right hand side of my screen. I can change the quantity of orders I'd like to place. I can show my positions, my total profits and losses, a buy and sell at market buttons, exit and market and cancel, reverse and cancel my orders, cancel offers, cancel bids, cancel all. And then I gain access to different settings here as well. I'll be diving into these options in a later video. But for now, the primary purpose of this video was to show you how to place orders within a chart. So the simplest way to place an order within a chart is by clicking either the buy or sell at market buttons. This will automatically place your trade at the market price. So let's say for example, I wanted to place a long at market. I simply click the green button and I'll gain access to a confirmation. You can click to not show this again, but for demo purposes, I'll keep it on. And if I click OK, I will confirm my long at market price. An easy way to flatten yourself out would to be simply click on the sell at market. Confirm. And as you can see here, I have no remaining orders on my chart. Therefore, I am flattened out. Now, let's say I wanted to place a short at market price. Simply click sell at market and designated by the red banner here at position negative one. I am short at the market. So from here, I'd like to segue into the ease of access buttons that OEC provides for you as traders. As I mentioned before, below the buy and sell at market buttons, you have the exit at market and cancel and the reverse and cancel button. So let's say, for example, I'd like to reverse my short position and turn it into a long at the market. I can easily click the reverse and cancel button. This will flatten me out automatically and then place my new order as a long at the market price. I could also exit at the market very easily just simply by clicking exit at market and canceling. And now I'm flattened out and I have no working orders. The final way of showing how to place a trade within a chart is to do so manually. You can place a trade manually by clicking anywhere on the chart you'd like to place an order. To buy a contract by clicking on the chart, simply left click on the position you'd like to buy. This is represented by the green banner. To sell at this price, simply right click. This is represented by the red color. So for the example I'll be showing you, I'll be placing two orders. One long limit order and one short limit order. So for my long order, I simply navigate to underneath the market price and I'll left click at the position I'd like to place my limit at. You can see what position you are in designated by the green banner here by one limit at 2761.75. If I left click, as you can see, I gain the confirmation to place my long order. If I click OK, as you can see here, the green banner designates where my limit order is placed. And then if I wanted to place a short limit order, I navigate to above the market place, price, right click, and then hit OK. And designated by the red banner here, I have my short limit order. Now, once you've placed these orders, if you navigate to the left hand side of the window, as you can see here, I gain access to a new panel with a couple of different options. If I click on these arrows, I can actually adjust my price that I've set. I can move my long order up and down. And as you can see here, I've moved it down and I can modify my order. If I click yes, my new position has been established. If I click the M, I can modify and I gain access to a couple different new settings. I won't be going into these here. So if I navigate back to my chart and go back to this panel on my left hand side of my screen, you can see I have one more option that I did not click on yet. 
and that is the X. If I click on the X, I can actually cancel my order from here as well. And you have the same options within your short order, obviously. And for the final remaining three buttons down here, as you can see, I have cancel offers, cancel bids, and the cancel all button. I don't have any bids placed yet, but I do have my offer. If I wanted to cancel that offer, simply click cancel offers. And like I said before, you can click cancel all to easily cancel all of your current offers on the chart. Now, if I click yes on the confirmation, all my offers will be canceled. Thanks for watching. If this video helped, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to give us a call or send us an email. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more informative content related to the futures market.